Good day, my friends. Um, had to shoot that video to introduce you to Jennifer, and she is uh, taking. She's been my personal assistant. Now she's um, becoming one of the counselors here. But she's. Uh, I hired her a long time ago because she's she's very knowledgeable and medically uh, savvy. It's been a lot of years in that profession, and so she's uh, she knows her stuff. So I'm I'm just trying to fix our clinic and club so we can help as many people as we can. I love every one of you that are out there and working this and getting your life back and getting your health back. It's it's incredible experience. So I'm going to, this is Q&A. Um, yeah, I got so much here. I'm going to start some new stuff here. But um, let's uh, look at this. Take a look at this. See this? This is common stuff. You see a lot of this in psoriasis where you know, I had a case where I got her, this was a 17, 18 year old, she had head to toe. And every time she walked, she split and bled. That's how dried and cracked she was everywhere. And of course she had uh, skin path everywhere. And this is, what a, this is what her fingers looked like. I got it all out of her in three months. Three months I got it all out of her, but at the end of the fingers like this. But that's just all acidosis and limp. And you can have fungus in there as well, Diff. Mm -hmm. Are those fingernails yours and strong? Look like they are. That'd be good. It looks like you got a little fungus down in there, but that that's all limp there. And you could have some chemicals in there. The thing with women is they're they're using lotions a lot. Nurses use lotions a lot, and then they get to the point where their hands crack and bleed. Can't do that. That's the unfortunate thing. And if you do use lotions, they must be food base. That way, you're 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 putting something in your skin that's going to go to your cells that's nutritively based instead of uh, maybe a uh, not so friendly chemical based, and so and it also sounds like if this has been in your fingers for a long time like this, uh, that's suggestive that you're not you're not you're not draining well in this arm under these axillary lymph nodes, and that could be problematic uh, with uh, fibrocystic breasts and stuff like that. And you might check that on that side. Uh, that if you do have fibrocystic breasts and stuff like this, but you can see it more on the fingernail like this. Now you could to, to get to, to kind of keep that from damaging too much and sucking that nail down. You could do a little heal all salve on that, but this is internal. You've got to get that. Or you could also dip hot, cold, hot, cold. You know, start moving that, and at the same time, kick up on your kidneys, get your kidneys filtering, get your adrenals up, and get your lymph moving, because that's a lymphatic problem. And this is just what lymphatic problems look like. And imagine, this looks just like this on the inside. You're red, you're burning, and that's just what it is. And then, of course, fungus can settle in, and that looks like a fungal nail to some extent. But anyway, it's all very curable stuff. You see this all the time. You see what you say here. Oh, this is Jennifer. Jennifer Baker. Hi, Doc. Thank you for all your amazing... Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Quick question. Pick attached. See it. Uh, my name is Billy. I've been detoxing since early December 14. Uh, taking kidney... Oh, you're right on. You're right on, honey. You're right on. She's taking kidney, lymph, parasite M, which is for fungus and stuff. She's taking a stomach and bowel to help clean her bowels out. Adrenal and just started some extra endoclam for me. Smart thinking. She's a 30... 30-year-old 30 female from Australia. You, you Australians are smart, smart people. You guys are good. I love you. Awesome. You're just so good. I've had, uh, I've had some exciting healing crisis. <laughs> I had a pretty nasty cold flu-like symptom. That's, a, that's definitely a big one. Uh, two weeks into the detox. You know, some people go months without one. Isn't that horrible? I've had some people the next day. The next day after they started just the diet going to a detox, and then I've had some that get right into it after they started the herbs. And then others are going months and months to try to get the body to uh, expectorate. I'll say this. If you're a person that has had a lot of antibiotics in your past, it might take a little while to get you to have a healing crisis because you've just about, you know, you shut down a lot of things in your body with, uh, with uh, antibacterials, antibiotics. Uh, had also a few server joint pains. Ooh, you know what you could do is look in your eyes. The, 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 this is all cool stuff. You get your eyes, and then you look right at your knees. You look at your ankles down at six o'clock. You can look at your hip into both eyes, and I'll tell you, you will see something there 
wherever you feel something in your detox. There's always something there. Even if it's just a big spot of lymph buildup, that's inflammation, uh, you're still going to feel something there. This lasted her for uh, uh, severe joint pains that lasted for about three days, and then they're gone. Well, that's a good healing crisis, three days. If you have a healing crisis that lasts two and three weeks, and we've talked about this before, you either got to do one or two things. You either got to kick it up, which is what I would do, or you got to completely stop it. And, and how interesting is it that to stop the body from healing itself, you just have to eat cooked food. <laughs> how funny is that? You just have to start eating cooked food. And it shows you how important living chemistry, living magnetically alive chemistry is vital for that human body. And how we don't get it, it's a downhill slide. Ever how slow or ever how fast. Depending on your genes, depending on your lymph systems, all, all of the above. So, good job. My God, Jennifer, good job. However, this finger problem has been around since uh, uh, December 20th. Well, that's still the length. And you want to keep pulling that out and pulling that out of that finger. To, our finger. The pick is on a good day. <laughs> it is usually a lot larger. Yeah, that's the total length. And like I say, you can do hot and cold. But truly, you've got to get this lymph moving under the axillary arms here. Get this, get these lymph nodes filtering through the kidney. And just keep working that. That's suggestive that a kidney on that side isn't filtering that good. Uh, I'm guessing this might be fungus. Yeah, um, looks like a lot of fungus involved. But also, it's sewage involved. It looks sewage. Remember, any septic tank where you have sewage, you're going to have, look at the diet of man. He has a cross between proteins and carbohydrates and fats. So you're going to see those bacteria and funguses that deal with those toward, uh, sort of uh, uh, chemistries to help break them down. You're going to see those in septic tanks. Of course, you see the fungus, you see the bacterium, and you see it in the human bodies. It's like the video we just shot with, with uh, Jen and, and, and Marcy, and what Marcy was saying about that. Uh, I've been dipping in hill off tea. No, no getting any... Well, because, you know, like I say, it's topical. I mean, it's internal. But you can do hot and cold, hot and cold, but really, you can't... I mean, if you could suck that out your skin here, and maybe the hot and cold will help pull some of that out for you and draw some of that out, you could put some drawing salve on that. We have a little light drawing salve that didn't turn out like I wanted it to turn out, but wasn't supposed to have been made, and it was made, and it was like, oh, okay... I'm trying to get a black salve that is Alexiance. Alexiance. That leaves no scars, that pulls decently, you know, and that sort of thing. But uh, we have a minor uh, a salve, or you could scrape the, uh, I get a white potato, you know, an Idaho potato, cut it in half and scrape some of the white potato, the starch, into a, a, a gauze or a band aid and wrap around that fingernail at night and let that draw some of that out of there. But, uh, you're on the right formula, so you want to kick it up with diet and just get your lymph moving better, and it'll clean that out of there. But yeah, yeah, good job, Billy. Good job, Billy. Yep. But, yeah, that needs to come out of there. Are those your fingernails? You can see where there's a little calcium issue there. Check your parathyroid and stuff, but yeah, nice, nice nails. From what I can see, they're yours. They look like yours. Uh, but good job. Keep it up. Dig in deeper. Go deeper into the uh, journey of detox. Get that lymph moving because that's all symptoms of lymphatics. And then lymphatics is sewer, right? Sewer system. So just remember the lymphatic system is your sewer system. And you can expect bacteria and, and fungus and all kinds of things in your sewer system. And if medical doctors don't understand that, then come join us because that's nature. I don't know what you're going to do. Kill nature? Yeah, I don't think so. Now, that'll, that'll finally terminate the Homo sapien off the planet. And that's, uh, we got to turn that around. Kayla, I think my question may have been overlooked. I wrote back in December, question regarding heavy metal detox. Oh, I'm sorry, Kayla. I, it's a real problem, Ruth. Your, your question is probably in here. So I, humblest apologies to all of you that don't stop trying to get, sending them in and let me get them. First off, I'd like to thank you for all you do, all your, your, your love. I thank you, and I, again, apologize, Caleb. My question is in regards to algum serum fillings and mercury heavy metal detox. 
Well, I love that on the news the other night where they were talking about vaccines and how important it is for the measles and this, even though it's a benign issue, it, it builds up natural immunity. It's reflective of people's lymph system. That's why not everybody gets it, blah, 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 blah. What a, what a major lack of understanding of health. And because of that reason, they want to pass a law to make it mandatory that these people that are trying to avoid vaccines. And there was this one discussion about how, and this one medical doctor says, absolutely no evidence. This guy is king size ignorant. No evidence to link all, uh, to ADD or ADHD to these vaccines. And he's full of shit. There's plenty of evidence and there's plenty of cases. I'd like to see him deal with the parents of a bunch of my, my clients. I don't think uh, he's going to enjoy that because they, they're gonna, he's going to get a real head full of truth. You know, this is a person who lives in the ozone. You know, when you're a medical doctor and you don't understand how toxic vaccines are, you're living in the ozone, man, and you've been lied to. Go to Tenpenny, uh, Dr. Tenpenny's site. Uh, she's, uh, I've showed you her videos before. There's a neurosurgeon that has a video out or a DVD out on how bad vaccines are and that CD centers have lied to medical doctors about the side effects of them. I mean, this is serious stuff, guys. Serious stuff. And now they want to force us into vaccines. I mean, we have an out of control world and an out of control world banking system. And if we don't gain control of that, they're going to ruin everything. Greed is a is an ugly, ugly factor within creation. And uh, the human ego, the homo sapien ego on this particular planet is so immature that the id is, is accentuated. This brings tremendous karma to these poor souls. They don't realize that they're locking themselves deeper and deeper into some major karmic experiences. And it's like, well, you can if you want, but you're also affecting so many people. And think how bad that is because you as an individual, if you hurt another person, you have to pay for that. And if you hurt a thousand people, guess what? Not good. It all blows back on you. Remember, this is a simple natural law of physics. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. In spirituality, we know it from Jesus as you reap what you sow, and we know it from Buddha as karma. And nobody's free from that. But it helps to explain how God is able to keep creation right, and how there is no, I like you, but I don't like you, because it's all it anyway. So it can't like part of itself and not like other parts of itself because it's all of itself. Just gaining understanding of that. I recently had all three of my algum fillings removed by a biological dentist who took all the necessary precautions during the removal process. I am very much aware of the health issues caused by heavy metals such as mercury, and I'm certain I have a minor mercury toxicity based on symptoms I've had throughout the years, such as severe acne, inability to focus for long periods, digestive issues, candida, anxiety, etc. What is the best way to go about detoxing these metals out of my body, tissues, and glands? I've read Andy Cutler's book on mercury detox, and he suggests using a protocol of ALA and DMSA. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, you can forget that. He says ALA is the only chelating agent that will cross the blood-brain barrier. There is no blood-brain barrier. Uh, to detox mercury from the brain, since mercury is a neurotoxin. However, I'm not sure if this method of chelation detox is safe, and neither am I, and he's wrong about the blood-brain barrier. And uh, I can tell you, I have plenty of medical doctors bringing me up to speed on that. Uh, but it's enough to say that detox cleans your body head to toe of all of the neurotoxins, heavy metals. Neurotoxins are probably the most difficult to get out, I would say. But uh, I, I tend to kind of like the greens a little bit with uh, too much heavy metal toxicity. If one has a lot of heavy metal toxicity, then you know the things like the kelps, the parsleys, the cilantros, they're very heavy metal detoxing. Uh, green drinks, very powerful buffer for heavy metals. With that said, though, remember the blood dumps everything into the lymph system. This it can be a heavy lymphatic problem. And these neurotoxins and excitotoxins, they're all held in the body by the lymph system, not by the blood. The blood can't hold chemistry and keep you alive that long. Remember, whenever you're dealing in acid chemistry, uh, the body has to keep blood regulated, the pH regulated just right, or bam. So who gets dumped? Well, the spleen has to dump, of course, and the liver has to transmutate, but the spleen gets it the worst because it has to clean the blood into the lymph system. Then you've got the kidneys, of course. So, you know, this is a big deal. 
I would detox my lymph system. I'll tell you this, the lymphatic formulas are very protective of poisons. All the lymphatic formulas are very protective of poisons. Look at uh, uh, well, blood root, poke root, uh, 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 um, a plantain, one of my favorite plantains because it's not like as aggressive as, as blood root. But remember the mongoose and the, and the cobra and the story of how the mongoose, and you can see it, they show this on TV sometimes on Discovery shows where the mongoose is fighting the cobra, gets bit, runs off, grabs plantain, goes right back and kills the cobra. You're taking the lymphatic formula for poisons, we could say, acids, of course, because your chemistry of, of uh, toxic chemistry, you have to understand this, is either acid or base too. Everything in life, whether it's neurotoxins or excitotoxins or just prime electrolytes, all chemistry falls on one side or the other. That's it. It's just most of the poisons or toxins that are disruptive to the cell is acids. Does it make sense? Absolutely. Because acids have much more of an immune response than base chemistry. And it's just uh, the nature of the bit because everything deals and bakes down into acids. So the body's covered well. It's only man that brings in these types of foods that can create alkalosis, which I don't know what, but it's enough to say that alkalosis is rare in my opinion. Very rare. So, again, now I want to go back and touch this because you brought up something here, and this is what you see out there. Candida people. Candida causes cancer. Candida fungus causes everything. Everything is caused by fungus. Then you have the people over here where everything's caused by mercury. All their symptoms are caused by mercury. And in our last video, when Marcy was speaking up about that, I thought what she had to say was very important for you. Important to understand is that, and we've been talking a lot about it here, is you have to start changing the way you look at this. You have to start understanding the terrain, the culturing medium, the medium for which these toxins are stored, and how that adds to that medium of acidosis and increases inflammation. Neurotoxins are neurotoxins. Nothing fun at all about neurotoxins. But it's all detoxable out of the human body. And to me, the reason people are not so successful is because they don't go deep enough. And remember, greens are great at neutralizing heavy metals, but they don't dig deep enough. And you can have them stored deep into the uh, lymphatic tissues uh, or, or spaces, and you just need to break, clean interstitially. And that's a kidney filtration. That's all that you're doing. That's how you effectively clean toxins from head to toe out of the body. You can use uh, chelation agents, but that's a joke. You know, this isn't about blood and chelation. You've got interstitial spaces everywhere, and the blood will dump. Clean the spleen, I might add. Clean the liver, too, of course. You know, and clean your body out. And just start detoxifying. The greens will help buffer, but they won't detox deep into interstitial spaces like fruits will. Fruits also buffer, particularly grapes, because they're high in flavonoids. Flavonoids are great buffers. So... Turn your attention that way, but I'm going to suggest that your acne, your digestive issues, your candida, and your anxiety is coming from a totally different place. My suggestion to you is that the problem with your case here might be is that because of the anxiety tells me you have adrenal weakness, digestive issues tell me that your kidneys are down and therefore your, your, your either gallbladders, livers, uh, pancreas is backed up and inflamed or genetically weak and inflamed on top of that. Uh, acne, of course, is total lymph, kidneys not filtering. So I, I think if you look at this and understand that you're holding because your lymph isn't filtering. And when you remove that, thank God you're not one of those that have extreme mercury toxicity because there are those cases. But again, you have to be careful about buying in that this is causing all my problems 100% and that my diet and everything else has nothing to do with it. My lymph system has nothing to do with it. That's crazy. You must understand all that first to understand then mercury toxicity or aluminum. There's aluminum toxicity, guys. Oh, everybody's cooking in aluminum cookware now. Even these famous chefs are using these high-grade aluminum cookwares. It's like, uh, uh, uh. But even, you know, I'm cooking again. It's back to cooking. And then you've got stainless steel, which what, gives you copper or something. So you got all that. And then you've got your iron skills, where there's your iron. And so... 
People need to worry about aluminum toxicity as well. And then there's lead toxicity. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. That's why you want a clean body and get your kidneys filtering. That way, if you do get toxins in, they come right out. Your body's able to get them right out and everything is good. That's what you're trying to achieve. Everything, cleaning and moving, foods that you're eating are self-cleaning. So your body cleans itself as you're eating. Isn't that the ultimate? But wouldn't God be the ultimate in that? The very foods you eat is the very foods that keep your body clean and nice and enhances the function of cells, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. What is the best way to go about detoxing these metals out of my blood, tissues, and glands? I, all right, let me go back to that. I trust your suggestions more than anyone else. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate that. Also, I'm currently taking your adrenal tonic, smart woman, and kidney one. Tonic, smart woman, go to the lymphatics. Those are neutralizing of poisons and stuff. And uh, re study all the lymphatic formulas. Get you some herb books and start reading on the lymphatic uh, formulas, and you'll be impressed at their, what they can do and, and realize what they're, they're really there for. Acids and, and, and neutralization and the breaking up of tumors. Uh, it's like plantain neutralizes cobra bites. That's what I'm saying. If you ever snake bit, spider bit, you head for your medicine cabinet or wherever you keep your lymphatic formulas. And if you're out trucking in the woods, carry a lymphatic formula with you. Because I'm telling you, it'll save your life. It will save your life. We get recluse black widow spider bites in here all the time. I mean, it's post hospital generally. So one lady came in one day on her leg and she'd been in the hospital and they'd been treating her for about three days on a recluse spider bite and she had a place on her leg this big. It looked so bad. And I said, why are they giving you? She said, tons of antibiotics. I said, that's not the issue. So we turned her around, of course, detoxed her and cleaned her up, cleaned her lymph system up. That thing was gone in, a, in about a week and it, and it was, it was, it was, they, they thought they might have to do something bizarre with surgeries and stuff. And it's like, you guys are using the wrong methodology. This is a bacterial problem. These are poisons. You know, these are either cytal or neural or hemotoxins. And, uh, you know, you, you, you can't take antibiotics for that. What the hell are they thinking? They don't have anything. That's why God does. Because it's all nature. The, the creatures within nature that hurt, the poisons within nature that hurts, and the remedy within nature. We just got to look to see. Sorry for all the questions. These aren't a lot of questions, sweetheart. No, they're not bad at all. I'm just apologized to you that it took so long for me to answer this. That's why I'm cutting back a little bit. I need. I want to feel like I need to answer your questions more. I think it'll be helpful to you. We've got great counselors. I'm on their case all the time. They know what's up. They know how to take you from Hellville to Wellville big time. Uh, Jen's been doing it on her own for a long time. I've had her helping people to the side here a long time. Marcy, she's kicking butt. She is something else, man. I mean, you've got a good healer with Marcy there, too. And Jen is just as sweet as he can get. But I'm desperate to know which route of detox I should Yeah, I can see why, sweetheart. And my body for trying pregnancy. Thank you. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Thanks so much for love, Kayla. I'll get this up. Kayla from Houston. Houston, Texas. I just had some company from Texas. Oh, category manager. This guy sent an inquiry to YouTube. Uh, Marcy, you did me. I will send one to either Elizabeth. Subject, ask a YouTube question. Message, Dr. Morris, can you please tell me how to build muscle? Oh, wait, here's the question. Dr. Morris, can you please tell me how to build muscle in the right way? I really want to get bigger because even if I'm 22, I have a small bond. Bond or build? It is, uh, is any way to grow my bond too? I don't know what you mean by bond. Uh, it's so important for me, and I want to thank you for opening my eyes about detoxing. Ah, you're welcome. Uh, Andrea? Andrea? Well, I've showed you Ian picture many times. I think this is a great example. You know, I take my shirt off, but I have to tell you, there's a process to getting well. And you have to understand that we have a society that wants you to think you can just go buy something and that's your, that's your antidote. And that is so far from the truth, it's not even funny. We've had eons of time to disrupt the human cell. And of course, in the last 100, 200 years, the toxicity level on this planet, we've opened the door to chemistry like no other and with ill responsibility. And we spray... We mutate our plants. We got Monsanto who thinks they're some kind of God people. We've got so much destroying our food sources. 
I mean, nobody destroys their food sources. So when the human just starts destroying their food sources, what level of consciousness is that? That's why a bunch of us are here. That's why a bunch of you are waking up and going, yeah, we all need to stand together and work this out because the poor souls on this planet are being controlled by a very few. And there's millions being controlled by a very few narcissistic bastards that think they know what's right for everybody. Karma is steep for them. But, man, this is a good experience for everyone out there who grow strong within the self. Because you must be strong to survive life in creation. Because it will tear you apart if it has a chance. So you have to become strong. And that creation out there, and you always at home. Okay, so... I'll be in here all weekend. <laughs> so I'll get to a, a lot of your questions this weekend. I'm coming in tomorrow. Saturday, I'm coming in Saturday some and Sunday. I try to get in here most of the day for you. But... All I can say is, you have to fix these processes, and then you can build as big as you want to build to a certain point. So, I'll suggest that you not be big, you be shapely and strong. Big isn't always better. So, first you have to detox. Why? Because a lot of people are extremely malabsorbed. So, what are we trying to fix? Two things we have to fix right off the bat. Digestion and malabsorption. When you're excessively thin, those are two things you want to look at. Now, you could have, you want to deparasite yourself. You might have some tapeworms and other things like that. Yeah, you get deworm yourself. Uh, that you, everybody needs to deworm themselves. If you haven't dewormed yourself, get our first can't deworm yourself. You know, you got to deworm yourself because you got worms, you flukes, you got all kinds of crap in people right now and you want to get them out of there. But outside of that, you have to fix digestion and absorption. Excessive thinness can be poor digestion, where you're not digesting your foods, therefore you're not getting the goodies from them, and you're seeing pieces of undigested foods in your stools. That can be pancreatic for carbohydrate digestion. Fat digestion is the gallbladder. And, of course, your, your uh, protein digestion is in your stomach, and hopefully you're not doing proteins. So very little of that needs to be done. You're already at the amino acid stage. And so very minimal amount of tearing apart of amino acids in fruits and vegetables. Vegetables even a little more than even fruit. And that's the side you want to pull back away from to fix all of this. And you want the simplest of foods that clean and restore but simple to digest. But you have to fix digestion and absorption or you're just going to try to throw in protein powders and stuff. You're going to ruin your kidneys, create extreme acidosis, and then you're in line for all their medical problems that they state. And that's not smart. So you have to fix the human body first. Get your kidneys filtering. Get your digestive system up. Get your, your, your absorption. That's what Ian learned. He was malabsorbed. Now he's not. Now you see the greens that he has, and he's like, uh, what is that, Arlen, whatever his name is, uh, one of the naked guys in the tree with David Wolf, big muscle guy, shows you how to do it all with, with greens. So greens are very good at building muscle. Look at the animals that eat the greens. The problem is man doesn't do well at digesting them, so juice them. Eat your fruit and juice them. If you want to build, detox first, and then go on a building program. On a building program, you're still going to do your fruits in the morning, but you'll pump with a green drink in between, at lunchtime, a big salad, a green drink in between, and maybe uh, another salad or a green drink, and then maybe some fruit before you go to bed. Something like that would be good. Build yourself up. You can build yourself up. To me, easy to build yourself up if you fix your problem. And what a lot of the, you guys are experiencing is just what I told you. At a certain point on fruit, you start, your weight starts to come back. You start to feel muscles come on. Remember, some of the strongest muscles in the world belong to fruititarians, the primates. Nobody with a right mind except a cat, and they can get their butts kicked, messes with a primate. You're taking your life in your own hands. That's why we don't sell monkey milk. We sell cow's milk. I'm just saying that uh, don't be afraid of building yourself up, but fix yourself first. Get your body detoxed, get your, your, your pancreas in order, your lymph cleaned up, get all the inflammation out, get your lymph moving in your gut wall, and then, my God, the sky is the limit. The energy, the, the sky is the limit. It's unreal 
where you can go. Matter of fact, some of you someday are going to be writing me, how do I back down from this? Some of you already asked me that. How do I back down from these high levels of energy and vitality? And out of body, I'm warm out of the body. That's what happened to me. That's why I say balance is key because you want to kind of stay here a little bit. Get all your karma worked out and done, and I guarantee you, you'll go to the, some heights that you can't imagine when you leave your body here for good. That's the goal. Let this world work out all the crap out of your world, out of your karmic world. You keep yourself detached, living in the now, enjoy and have freedom, and play with what you want, but play as a child where, pit, pit, gone, done, next moment, go from moment to moment to moment. Get away from that that mind and, and thought and planning and all that other stuff. Okay. All right. I hope that helps you, but that's how one can do that. And of course, get out and work the body. Get out and build it up and work the body. I'm an outdoor kind of guy. I'm not an indoor. I don't, sitting at this desk is like, oh, okay, when, when can I get out? I'm an outdoor guy. Raised outdoors and farming. And I'm just everything, you know. Message, uh, Doc, who is this here? Uh, Doc, I know you say it all comes down to cells and two fluids. However, don't organs have their own dynamics structurally and muscularly and mechanically on a uh, macro level? Best wishes. Best wishes to you. Oh, Marcelo. Well, if you took a look and you took your liver out and you took your adrenals out and you set them out there, they definitely look different. But when you cut them open, they don't. I mean, you got cells and two fluids. You got cells with spaces in between them. Yeah, the cells are different because each cell has its own consciousness, of course. And then some cells come together and they become your pancreas. Some cells come together, become your, your spleen or your kidneys or whatever, but they're still cells and two fluids. But every structure has its own consciousness, no question about it. Mm -hmm. And the cells that are included in that. And then the glands, of course, always have your inner cores, your medullas, and your extra cores, your... your um, Cortexes. So you, you just, you always have these sort of parts to these things, and each has its own, yeah, job to do. But bottom line, it's simple. They're cells, just like we're just a bunch of humans, each doing different jobs, all to create civilization. So we can all have fun and, and, and play and, and, and live and whatever. Same thing in the human body, basically, if you keep it simple. And you can be it on some, you said macro, but uh, try micro. I mean, there are extremely uh, na extreme nano levels to all life that we can't even see. And of course, macro is you know, the only way you're going to know that's out of body travel. And and micro, oh man, uh, same way. It's just we have worlds upon worlds that are so small we don't even have microscopes that can see them yet. So you just have to understand <laughs> the immensity of it all, and you can't through the mind. The mind can't understand the infinite and the immensity of life. There's no way. Only you as consciousness can because consciousness is a part of the immensity of it all. Not thought. Your awareness. So, I hope that answers you for that. Uh, oh, this is Brendan. B-R-E-N-D-O-N. Brendan. Uh, lower limit for detoxification. I'm wondering how far down you can go in food and still be detoxifying. Well, that's a good question. I'll say this. If you're a, a sewage eater, you're eating meats and you're doing your cheeses and you're doing your pastas and you're doing all that crap, all you have to do is start eating raw, raw food. All you have to do is start eating salads and, and some fruit in the morning and bam, off you go. You don't need much, and I'm sure that there's levels down into that. You know, you take a body that's so acidic and ready to explode, and they've been on uh, steroids and things like that. Oh, these bodies are ready to explode. It wouldn't take much. It could even take some steamed vegetables, maybe, over all the meats and the dairies and stuff to throw you into a, a detoxification. It's possible. That's that, 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 that low level there. But I'll say this. Some of you, if you have to, you start out with fruit in the morning. You're going to have your salad at lunch. You're going to have some steamed vegetables at night. You know, play with that if you have to. But you want to keep working yourself more and more to raw and more and more to fruits, berries, and melons. 
and then you're going to have an incredible experience of detoxification. You're going to find your body getting lighter, cleaner, no more odor. For your ladies, your periods are going to clean up and be just spotty. You're, you're not going to have any odor. I, you, you all are going to love where this takes you in every sense of the word. Every sense of the word. So it's good stuff. I've been wanting to add some vegetables like uh, raw mushrooms and zucchini sprouts and green beans. I think you still detox with those. It depends. Really, if you've been on a fruit detox, I doubt it. It's going to probably kick you back. But try it. Try it and see because the best way is don't take what I say. Try it. Because then no one can ever lie to you anymore because you have full bore experience. And that's what this is about. We're just educating you on what we have experienced individually and what we've experienced with tens and tens of thousands of clients that have also found their remedies. So this is just, you know, us coming in and sharing with you this information. And we're very open to the feedback and sharing with all of you because we're working as one. We want us all to be one voice. It's the only way we're going to change the consciousness at this level. Remember 11-11? We all walk as individuals, but with one voice. 11-11. You guys know that. Many of you are seeing that, remember? We walk as individuals, but with one voice. Uh, but there isn't zucchini, starchy, and our green beans in some category as other beans. Yeah, green beans are better. No question. Green beans are going to be better than your dried beans. No question. We used to snap them and get the little beans inside. Yeah, I mean, I, they're real, real hard to digest, the outer side, though. You ever notice that? But, you know what? I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Well, fruits plus these foods still keep you in a detox at a certain level. Now, if you're used to deeper levels of detox, you're going to feel the kickback, no question. But I think it'll still detox you to a certain point. Absolutely do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there's going to be a point where you'll reach a plateau. And it'd be a good point. And some of you don't have that much going on to where it could take you as much as you wanted to go. Because some of you don't have the deep problems that others do. There are some of you that are that way, which is excellent. But most of you have much deeper problems. And you want to get into that level and then come back to what you're suggesting here. Or if your body's real sensitive, you walk the way you're suggesting first and then get into a little deeper. It's all how you, where you want to take yourself, you know, take your body. Uh, let me see. I was reading through the list of foods and recipe in your book, and they include non-detox foods. Yeah, because that's just a, you know, it's not all a detox book. It's a class book that came out. Um, That was, that was uh, the Detox Miracle Source book. And as you can see, it's quite thick. It's my school book that I used to give to the students. And uh, it's a science and practice of detoxification, true healing. And uh, I, uh, they can only print part of it. But it's just about education on foods and everything else. Because in the day, people didn't even understand this. You guys are already down a long, long road. And most of you are ready for a higher level of awareness. I come through the day where man wasn't quite ready for this. And if you watch your life, everything in due time and everything in its time. And remember, we've talked about if you push on doors that don't want to open, it's a, you just want to back away. Even though your emotions and everything might want what's on the other side of what you think you want's on the other side of the door, if you have to push too hard on the door and you make that door open, 99.99% of the time you regret pushing on the door because God had that door closed a little tighter for you so you could just kind of turn away. But our desires sometimes get in the way of what we should be thinking and doing. And so our own, that's why I say detachment's a better way to live life. Because you're free, you have fun, and you're not locked to anything. And you're not carrying things that you don't need to carry that uh, might be propaganda or wrong teachings or whatever. Okay. Uh, just slower. Yep, 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 yep. It's hard to tell because, uh, because everyone is at a different level of toxicity. And see, that you bring up a good, excellent point there. 
And I think that's important to understand is that everyone is, is, is at a different level of toxicity. And that's what makes you unique as healers. And I, I've always said that's what makes, uh, I, I should add to this, not, the, not only the science and practice of detoxification, but the art of detoxification, because that's where the art comes in, is the individuality of the client. And they're, 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 where they've been, the road that they've been down. Most of them have been down the medical road. And so they're, they're pretty bad. They're hurting real bad. They've been on steroids for inflammation, da-da-da-da-da, lots of antibiotics, da-da-da-da-da, some on a lot of chemo, radiation, crap like this. So you've got a highly abused, a highly insulted, a highly damaged human body on top of what they had wrong with them in the first place. You can't live life like that on this planet. you got to turn that around. So we have a big call because power is controlling everything. And you medical doctors, you, I know you want to help heal people, but you have a heavy AMA down here. And I know a lot of you don't belong to the AMA anymore. Thank God. A lot of doc, good docs in this town don't belong to the AMA anymore. Thank God, because this association is a Rockefeller association. And uh, not good. So we, it's just, I don't know. We all have to get in line to how simple healing is and how well it is. It's just what uh, Marcy said about Einstein. If you can't understand the simplicity within the complex, then you're, you're lost. It's hard to tell because, any, okay, toxicity, I think this is a very wise statement that you made there, dear one. Something uh, would simply slow you down or just stop you. Also wondering, especially because I'm not sure about uh, Filtration being an accurate way to tell, considering the increased filtration could also just mean ingesting and excreting more toxins. Well, there's also a good point there, too. I will say this. I've watched this a lot of years. No filter, no getting well. Very hard. Now, you can still filter a little bit and not see it. There's no question about that. We still have cases that we get them approved, even though they're not seeing a lot of filtration. So don't freak out with that. But filtration is everything. And if you don't filter, hard to get well. And especially for those of you that have tumors. I have a lot. I can say this non-egotistically. I have a lot, and so does Marcy now, a lot of first-hand experience with non-filtration of kidneys and what's on the other side lymphatically and what happens if you don't. So kidney filtration is a big deal. But one kidney can be filtering and the other not. And you still see filtration, but one side of your body could not be getting better at all. But you're filtering. See, so yeah, there's nothing 100%, but it's something. It's something you can grab on to understand. And you keep working and working, so both of them start filtering. And you'll know because the other side will start, of your body will start coming clean again. So it is a big deal to me that you filter your kidneys uh, and get them working. This also means that the adrenal glands on top has to be addressed. Has to be addressed. Uh, I guess I'm tripped up because you tried, you tried to outline a happy medium that is pretty good, mostly raw, mostly fruit, but also dipping into sweet corn and potatoes occasionally will still adds up to being healthier than sad. Absolutely, and you just got to realize you've got people out there just ain't going to do it. Now, I mean, that's the other side of this coin. You have some of your clients that are just not going to do the program like you want them to do. That's why the herbs. Because you got some people that are just not going to do all raw. You got some people that can't do all fruit and all this other thing, even though it makes them feel so good. They don't even, they don't, if they knew the journey and what it was like afterwards, they would run to this, run to this. But most people are scared or they're set in their ways. So we have to take baby steps with them or put them on steamed vegetables. Anything better. See, I look at everything as a little better. You know, just that you said right here. I'm not a perfectionist thinker anymore. <laughs> uh -uh, I don't even want to be. No way. That's gotten me into more trouble in building homes and everything else. I, I, I take every, every piece of lumber I'm putting in a house and I personally pick it and eye it for straightness on both ways. That's how bad I am as a perfectionist. If something doesn't line up, I rip it out and redo it. And I let all that go because it just... It just tears me. You know, you, it's hard to get perfection, and God kept making things just not quite perfected for me, so I could just finally let it go. You know, it's going to fit, it's going to fit, but don't it, don't it, it's look fit, that sort of thing. Not that I compromise quality, but I don't get caught up in perfection in that way. 
That just uh, so definitely if you can help your friends eat a little better, feel a little better, that's a big deal. Baby steps, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to change someone that's trapped and caught into these this consciousness here, and you've helped them up a little bit. It's a big deal. It's a fun thing. Even if they just change their diet and get away from the dead animals, the dairy is number one. You get, people have to get away from the dairy products. There is nothing, absolutely nothing good. And now with the latest study on milk, <laughs> uh, well, interesting how the Dairyman's Association deals with this one. You know, because how do you how do you pick truth out when truth is all on our side on that? Where are they going to grab onto truth that doesn't show how bad dairy is? There's nothing you can say. There's not one thing you can say about pasteurized milk that's good. Or, or, or yogurts or ice creams or anything like that. And for those of you that have a lot of inflammation, a lot of lymph or tumors, I'd be rethinking that food because you're just going to make your tumors grow. We've seen this for years. I've, I've got, like I said, I'm a six years shy of 50 years in this. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of ups and downs, a lot of people going through these things. And it does has to educate your... There's nothing any better than being a healer because it is, it is a blessing because you're, you're in the, the world of giving and you're giving love. You're giving them a remedy. And there's nothing any greater than that because the whole universe smiles when people are smiling. You know what I mean? Our actions affect the whole universe. So isn't this cool? This is good stuff. Will adding these foods also make the herbs less effective uh, at doing their job? Yes. I mean, fact is fact. But they'll still do their job. I have some people that don't even change their diet, and they use herbs. I had one guy, he finally stroked and died the other day. He was in his upper 80s. I'd had him alive for five years. He got a cholesterol ring about an inch thick around his eye, and I said, you know, I can just, you know, he's just not changing his diet. Uh, so he's high protein. I'm going, you know, I, all I can do, because I'm working on the whole family, so all I can do for the hubby here is to have upper circulations and things like that, keep working on his kidney so he doesn't run into kidney failure. So I think I've had him alive for five, six years, then finally he had the big one. But and that's just with herbs. I do want to fully detox over time, but I'm not necessarily in a rush. Yeah, if you don't have anything uh, bugging you, then go slow, you know, go down there. Definitely get your fruit for breakfast. You definitely want to get into that habit of having fruit for breakfast because that's breaking the fast from the night before. Remember, breakfast, breaking the fast from the night before. And you always break a fast with what? Fruit. Always. So you want to have that fruit, berries, and melons for breakfast to lunch and then do your thing. Have a large salad and then maybe steamed at night. Do your thing from then on. Maybe some green drinks in between. However you want to run that. I am comfortable as long as I know that I am only getting healthier over time. And that, for, for me, that's good too. That's good too. You know, if you're not hurt and you want to do that, I like that idea too. Most important, I want to clean out my bowels and tell Yeah, I agree. And get your kidneys filtering. I'm serious about this one, dear. You've got to get your kidneys filtering. That's essential. You get those and your intestines clean out, your, your, your idea is right on. And another one I'll throw to you is make sure your glands are functioning. Because your glands literally control everything. And if your adrenals are down, your thyroid, your pituitary is down, everybody's going down, that's where the problems are. So work on your endocrine glands uh, with an endocrine gland formula or something. Your, your adrenals, check your blood pressure, see if you're low or whatever. You know, look at your eyes. See what you need to do with your eyes. That's the beauty. Don't forget those pictures of your eyes, guys. That's a beautiful thing. What's the worst I can do and still be detoxifying? Steam vegetables. <laughs> because you flatly are going to stop detoxing on meat because there's no electromagnetic energy in cooked meat at all. It's all gone. Uh, at least steamed vegetables have somewhere around 1,000 to, say, 1,500 angstroms of energy where we, we need at least 65 to stay the same, <laughs> thank God, soul, and we can pound energy to our bodies, but still, I don't know. But I would say that, because if you're doing the meats, that's going to stop detox, and dairy will stop detox. So I'd say steamed cooked vegetables is probably the least you can do on the cook side, uh, or the best you can do on the cook side that'll keep you detoxing. Everything else is going to flatly stop you, and then add more 
problems to the mix. Dairy is just plain mucus forming, so all the work one does to detox the mucus out, you put right back in. <laughs> That's not fun. And then on the meats, it just brings high acidosis in there. The very thing you're detoxifying out of the body, of course, it's make you stink and everything else as well. So the very things you're trying to get out, you're putting back in, so I wouldn't go to those foods. Animal products, toss them. I would say if you had to go to potatoes, go to sweet potatoes. Um, and I'd do maybe one or two a week, but chew on a potato like a baked potato and see how much is there that's thick and uh, suffocating compared to a fruit. Yeah, strengthen your glands and get rid of your parasites. And you're right on in your thinking. I really like what you're thinking. You're right on with that. And for those, that, that sometimes that's really... Also, this brings into question steamed vegetables, cooked vegetables, oils, and salts. Again, I realize these are things to stay away from. Well, if you're going to do the salts, you got to do... Remember, if you're craving salts, it's an adrenal gland weakness. If you're going to do your salts, do your Celtic salts, your Himalayan salts, where you're full-bodied salts. But, again, these are inorganic minerals, basically. You could say organic and they're tied together somewhat, but uh, electrically they're close to inorganic. Uh, occasionally dip into, well, you know what, one can occasionally dip into anything. And it's not going to stop your detox, it's not going to hurt you. If once in a blue moon you take a bite of ice cream or you take a bite of a rib or a fish or something, not going to hurt you. And when you do something like that, you do the smallest thing you can get rid of. Oh, that was good. I'm done. I just needed to taste it. Thank you very much. You know, that might be all you need is just the taste. I had a chef that has in dialysis once, famous chef, <laughs> and uh, poor guy, he had to taste all his food, but he went total fruitarian, but he had to taste all his food because he was the chef, and a famous one at that. So uh, I wondered, you know, it was hard to get him back, and I was always wondering. He did well. But I was always wondering, you know, did the, the vibrational frequency of just putting it in your mouth, remember with sublingual, we put things, absorption. So frequency-wise, once you interact, once you touch it, you've got it. All you have to do is touch something and that frequency is now yours. That quick, you just bonded with it. That's why they talk about the desireless state in healers and that you have to be careful about bonding with your clients. Because sometimes in bonding with your clients, you start picking up on their pain and their, and their problems. And that's not worth it for any of you guys to pick up on other people's problems. Everyone stands alone. They, they came here alone. They, they're going to die alone. Everybody lives alone. We pull friends and we marry and we do things. But in the final analysis, when things are stripped from you, you stand alone. That's why you must get into yourself and know yourself well so you don't freak out in those times of aloneness. And this time when you're ready to pass, you're excited because you know you're on your journey. Who you interact here is just pure temporarily, except for you that are karmatically journeying with a, a family or so. Many of you travel in families. One lifetime the mother, one lifetime the brother. In theory, would I or someone in a case like mine still be detoxifying on fruit all day, herbs, salad with vegetables at night, whether raw or steamed, and occasionally once a week, two, twice at the most, a lower level meal? I think you are absolutely correct. And for that, I have to go, because <laughs> I have an appointment that I have to deal with. But, you're right on. That, that, that's a perfect way to live for most people, right there. Right there, perfect way to live. If you have to dip, play once in a while, who cares? You want to taste something, taste it. Who cares? No one's going to hit you in the head with a club. You're putting this in your body. So what you want in your body, you're going to have to deal with that. But a bite or two here and there, or a little piece of something here and there, big friggin' deal. You know, it's just not that big a deal. If you spend too much time being too perfect, like I was doing, you get unbalanced. And then you, know, you lose your friends and everybody else because they don't understand your zest for feeling good like you do and stuff. And I felt so good, my friends couldn't understand how I had so much energy. Turned them off. So I don't know. I think it's, um, you know, you just take yourself down the road the best you can. And I think that, um, like you said, I think that's a perfect plan, especially after a deeper detox. If you want to dig deep, dig into the fruits. If you want to do that, but I'll diet like you're suggesting will take you right into Wellville eventually.
might take you an extra year or something. Who cares? You'll be driving right into Wellville Station. It might be, though, if you reach a plateau, then that means your body needs to go deeper. And that means you have to kick up the fruit for a little while just to dig deeper and then come back. But uh, that's a perfect way for people to live off of the program of, of deeper detoxification. And also, you might want to take a break once in a while from detox and get this level and then revisit detox at another time. You don't have to always live in detox, but... When you got it, you're digging deep in the body, you got everything running, keep on going until you get your remedy to it. All your symptoms are gone and your body is back to well bill. Then, have fun. I love each and every one of you. You got some excellent questions here. I thank each and every one of you. And you're all doing real good. I really am proud of you. And just, so, I, 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 there's not enough words to say how great of an experience this is with each and every one of you. And how we're affecting the world. It's just amazing to see what you guys are already doing out there. I'm humbled to no extent. Love you.